In the crater, one of the trackers has returned to camp with a wild animal, and it's totally trusting. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness, he's absolutely beautiful. Come on, little fella. I think it's our guy. I'm going to look at his mouth in a little bit, and we'll know from his teeth, but this looks right on. This is a dark furred cuscus. It's a montane cuscus. It's very much like the skull I suspected. The skull was similar to a different species called the silky cuscus, and, yeah. and the body is too. It's, you can feel that silky fur. Yeah, it's really, really thick. I guess this is adapted to living in, a, in a, a mountain environment. That's right. That's right. He seems to like you. He's got a very, very strong, but, but not actually unpleasant smell. No, but you can, it, it, it does hit you. This is the mammal that Gordon filmed emerging from the tree stump. I'm calling this the wasabi cuscus because it, I really think it, it has a lot of distinctive features. We're gonna we're gonna find out more as we as we look closer. But I, I just I can't even begin to describe how it feels to have an animal in my hands that is this beautiful and in all probability has never been seen before by science. I think I think what we have is. Uh, a cuscus that long ago has been isolated on this volcano and uh, has just uh, not been able to uh, have any contact with any of its relatives and has become uh, something here in isolation that, uh, that is unique to Basavi. He's totally chilled out. He's got no idea quite how important he is. <laughs> so gorgeous. Yeah. Little guy. You're a major scientific discovery. How about that? I travel the world looking for new species in many different places, and we find them, we find new mammals. It still does happen, but so many of them, most of them, are things like bats and rodents. And to find something, a marsupial, an animal that's, that's this size, uh, is really exciting. It's, it's a cause for a major celebration.